Good morning everyone. Today we got full self-driving beta version 11.3.1. Uh, this is the big one. This is single stack where Highway is now using FSD beta code instead of the autopilot code. So here are the release notes. Uh, pretty basic. Alright, so of course the big one. Enabled FSD beta on highway. So now we're using FSD beta on the highway instead of autopilot, which is, uh, it says, over four years old. Wow. It has been a long time since Navigate on Autopilot came out. You know, there are a lot of small improvements here. Um, how these translate into real world, we'll find out soon. Um, the big thing here is that this also covers the recall. So, um, improved decision logic for certain yellow lights. Um, slow down when coming up to a stop sign intersection. Um, and speed adjustments. That one is huge. I hope this fixes my issues. Um, we'll see how this translates because I am taking the route that this is applicable to. So, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and get going and see how it does. All right, first time driving FSD beta. 11.3.1 As you can see, updated visualizations. I'll make this full screen for now. Um, since I'm not setting up a route, I want to actually get on the highway. Um, I don't need to make any changes. So, 20 mile an hour speed limit. And it slowed right down as soon as it passed it. Um, I wasn't really going that fast, so We'll see how it does when it drops, you know, 55 to 45 to 35. I really like seeing the wide path here. It gives me a little more confidence that it knows where it's going. And it did not go over center. Didn't go over center, that is awesome. I didn't have to disengage there. Very improved here, very much, very much. It did not go right up against that guardrail, which has always made me uncomfortable. Um, yeah, it stops a little early at this stop sign. And yeah, there's a car coming. Don't go out yet. Well, dang. It waited until the last second. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> there was a car coming, and it waited. Car waited until another car was coming before it pulled out in front of them. Okay, so <laughs> what? it hesitated and I thought, okay, it's just going to sit here and um, it's just going to sit here and wait for that car to pass. And then right at the last second, as the car started speeding up, my car started pulling out right in front of them into the right lane as well, which, um, which is not a good thing to do. Now this semi is going really slow. I, I'm going 27, my speed set to 44, and it didn't even try to pass them, so that's kind of kind of strange. Normally it would pass. All right, so I didn't even get a chance to see how it would do in the left turn because I had to go ahead and uh, make that turn um, as soon as I pulled out. I couldn't stop and re-engage FSD. Um, 
So that's disappointing. Man, I was so excited because how well it did just before that. Now, if it would have pulled into the left lane, I would have accepted that. I would have, it wouldn't have been ideal to pull out in front of someone like that. But if it pulled out in front of them and crossed into the next lane, that would have been okay. But instead, it pulled right into their lane and I had to floor it and, um, you know make sure that I got over into the left lane where I needed to be. All right. So the speed limit sign isn't until right there, but the city limit is back at McDonald's and that's where the speed would technically change. So I always scroll up ahead of that sign. Everyone else obviously um, speeds up the same way. All right, so this is still present, changing lanes out of rightmost lane. Um, I, I really wish it wouldn't do that. Right now it's okay, we're gonna pass this truck anyway. Um, uh, that's frustrating because I have to disengage all the time. I've gotten to the point where I just drive manually in this section if there's um, traffic around. So once we pass this uh, pickup, I'll get back in the right lane and it will likely just try to get right back into the left lane. Well, I'll just stay in this lane for now. We'll be passing these people too. All right, I'm gonna let the car do this here. It is supposed to slow down quickly. Um, city limit is right up ahead. It drops to 45. It should drop very quickly. If it doesn't, I'm hitting the brakes. The car does not slow down ahead of a speed limit change. Um, needs to slow quicker. All right, so that that's not fixed. It it was flying right past that sign at 60 miles an hour, and the speed limit is 45. I wouldn't have even let it get that close if uh, there had been a cop sitting there, which there very often is. Very often.
Look at all the white cars. All the cars behind me are white too. Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> the scroll wheel pushing left and right no longer does distance, which was well, kind of pointless anyway. Very smooth merge onto the interstate, and we are still in FSD. Not much traffic this morning, um, so not really getting a good sense of how well it does. I mean, it, just sitting in a lane. But good job at getting into the left lane, since this lane was slowing down. Okay, I'm really surprised that it hasn't gotten in the right lane yet. The exit is coming up less than a mile. I'd like to test this when there's more traffic just to see the decision making on um, being in the correct lane. So that lane change onto the exit ramp was much smoother than before. It was always pretty jerky 
that whole transition from highway to city streets. Alright, so the car should not stop here. There's a lane. And, yep, still waits till the last second. So that, that's disappointing. I was hoping that maybe some of that would be fixed. Not a problem there because there was no traffic around, but again, if if there was a, a lot of traffic, it might be an issue. All right, so that turn was very smooth, unlike the last time I allowed it to try. Um, actually, usually don't let it try just because of how bad it is. Uh, but here we go. We are at Publix. Of course, it doesn't navigate into the parking lot, so took over there. But, um, yeah, uh, first, first impressions, um, the transition to highway seemed great, and I guess that's all I should expect on this update. Um, wasn't really expecting massive improvements on the stuff I've complained about, um, in the past, but... Yeah, I I think that that might be good. We'll have to see how it does in heavy traffic on the highway. Um, but as far as the city street stuff, there's still a lot, a lot that needs to be fixed. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching this one. I'm going to turn around and head back home, but leave that for the next video.